everyone, I'm Yusuf Rashid and I'll be your instructor for Diva. Diva is a plugin for Rhino and is mainly used for daylighting analysis. This is the website you go to to download the plugin. You go to Diva for Rhino and you click on that download link. After downloading, you can request your educational license using your student email. When you go to the download page, make sure you download version 3. Again, Diva is a plugin for Rhino, so you need to have Rhino 5 installed and working on your device first. Now I will go quickly through how to export from Revit to Rhino. You need to pay attention to four main things. The first, make sure that your north direction is correct. The second, you need to be in the 3D view like this in order to export a 3D model. Third, make sure that your units are correct. You can make sure that your units are set to meter from manage, project units, and you choose meters. Now we will go to the export CAD format DWG. Open the options, go to units and coordinates, and set it to meters. Also go to solids and set it to ACIS solids and click OK, next and name it for Rhino for example. Now we go to Rhino to import our model. Make sure that the model units are also in meters and click OK. And here is our model. There is something very nice about exporting from Revit. When, we, when you go to the layers, you'll find that each component is on a separate layer. So like for example, all my floors are on this layer. And you can show and hide it very easily. The second is when you set your nose direction correctly there in Revit, you get it correct also here in Rhino and you don't need to rotate your building. But there are a few modifications that we need to make to this model to make it uh, work properly for uh, the daylighting analysis. Now what I'm doing here is that I'm moving each floor to a separate layer of its own. I've already moved the floor, the second floor, and I will show you how to move the first floor to a new layer. Make a new layer from here. I will name it first floor. Select your object. Right click on the layer and change object layer. Now, there is something I like to do. I like to make all my floors different shades of the same color. Like here, for example, I'll make the floors all greens. This will make it easier for you when you work with your model. Now we can delete this layer. It's empty. There is something very important. When you make a 3D model for daylighting analysis, you need to make sure that your glazing surface is represented as a single surface. It doesn't matter if your windows have triple or double glazing. The glazing surface must always be represented as a single surface. The model we get from Revit doesn't have the glazing as a single surface, so we need to go to each window and delete one of the glazing surfaces. First you select your entire model and explode. Once you have exploded your model, you can switch off all layers except for the glazing layer. Now I will go to one of the windows select it entirely again and explode. Now when you 
Select the surface, you'll find that you have indeed two surfaces. Now select only one of them and delete it. Now we have the glazing as a single surface, like this. We have to repeat this process for all the glazing surfaces we have, even the curtain walls. It can take a lot of time, so you may only do this process for the the rooms or the, the spaces you need to simulate the lighting for. Once you've cleaned your windows, you can start working with Diva, but make sure you saved your model because Diva doesn't work unless your model has been saved. Then go to location, and I'm going to select this file and click open. Now, you will notice that you get new layers like this and those. You can minimize them for now. The second step will be placing my notes for analysis. There are two ways you can simulate your model. You may simulate daylighting for the entire floor surface or for a single space. First, I'm going to simulate the entire second floor. I'm going to place my notes. Click on nose here. You will find a message telling you to pick one surface. I'm going to pick my entire floor and press enter. Then it will ask you what is the height from the floor you need um, your analysis to be. And I'm going to make it 0.9. Then it will ask about the distance between nodes and I will make it 0.5 and press enter. Now you will find that I have my nodes here. Now the third step I'm going to assign materials to my different components. Going to assign materials. You'll find that each layer can have a separate material. I'm going to assign material for the floors. And here you can, for the floors, you can pick generic floor, like this. This number is a, its reflectance. I'm also going to pick for the roof. And go on, select all your materials. You can have the wall generic interior walls and select your glazing type. Here, there. You can have it as double pane, triple pane, whatever type you want to install in your project. I am going to go with the single pane. Now once you have finished selecting your materials, hit submit. For simulation, make sure all your layers are turned on and go to metrics. Here you can select your simulation type. I'm going to choose daylight grid based and select point in time illuminance. We're going to leave the sky condition as it is, because our sky is clear with sun. Here you can put your day and time. The first two digits are for the month. The second two digits are for the day. And the third two digits are for the time. Here is going to run for 9 a.m. Of course, this is a 24 hours format. And for the 21st of September. And I'm going to run simulation. You will find a window like this. When the simulation is running, you are going to leave it and it's going to close on its own when the simulation is done. Once your simulation is done, this window will appear. We're going to set the minimum illuminance to 300 and the maximum to 3000 lux. 
here you can select your colors we're going to leave it like the default and i am going to select label all nodes and color extreme values here it said that the values below 300 will have a black color and about 3000 will have a bright pink color i am also going to check the simulation description and i'm going now to load my simulation data Now I, I am going to switch off my roof layer. Now you can see here that you have your nodes. So I am going to the Diva Analysis Surfaces. And I am going to also switch off my nodes. If you are using Rhino's default style, you will find that it will be really annoying to read and um, discuss your values correctly so i am going to select a different style this is a copy of the shade style but with the background a solid color white and i remove the grid uh, now you have here a summary we're going to the top view discuss this summary here it gives you the average the mean illuminance and it's 5623 lux it says that 65% of your area is between 300 and 3000 lux the values you have set and 17.8% is above this value and like 17% below this value now let's move to our legend and our grid you will find that the spaces or the nodes close to the curtain wall are overlit they have a pink color meaning they are over 3000 lux and the spaces that don't have exposure to sunlight like here this is facing west and you can see that it's underlit uh, we were simulating at 9 a.m. in the morning, so the sun was coming from here, the east. You can see that your uh, values decrease gradually as you go into the space. You will see that the west side window is not, is not doing enough to the daylighting in the room. This is our balcony. You can see it here in the perspective and you can see that it's all over lit but if we go here you will see that the value is much smaller than this value this is because the building has shaded this area and not this area here we have direct sunlight this is a very good example on how you can use your structure to cast a shade to your building uh, you can take your screenshot in the top view like this and this is pretty much it have a nice day bye